Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. But today we will make use of this uh, question paper. This paper is taken from the 2019 October series. So we will put the focus on the IGCSE subject accounting. The exam board is CIE. And the topic of this video is about the depreciation and also the capital and revenue expenditure. So I would like to make use of this past paper from 201 October series to illustrate how can we deal with such kind of question. So we will get started at part A. So for part A, we have to indicate these payments to take a look are they capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. So first of all, we have to uh, understand the differences between them. So for the capital expenditure is for the non-current assets. So this is what we call capital expenditure. Now, on the other hand, on the other hand, um, for the revenue expenditure, it would be for those uh, I would say recurrent expenses, like repairs. Okay, recurrent expenses. So you have to pay regularly uh, for these expenses. On the other hand. For the not, for the capital uh, for the capital expenditure is a kind of one off, so you just need to pay once. Okay, it's a one off. I would say it's a one yes and one off payment. So right now, uh, we will take a look um, all these items to differentiate. Uh, uh, what okay, so which items would be one off? Which item would be recurrent expenses? So let's take a look. Um, so let's get started with the first one. Okay, called the premises. Okay, so for the premises and office furniture, so you just need to pay it once, right? So I will put a tick for these two. And number three is a little bit, um, it's a little bit tricky. It's about the carriage to office furniture to your company. So think about it. is it one off? Okay, think about it. is it one off? Um, the answer of course is yes. Okay, it's a kind of one off expenses. You just need to pay it for once. So this is a kind of capital expenditure. Yeah, think about how about number four, this one, the stationery. So the stationery, do you need to purchase again and again? Yes. So this is one I would say is a recur. Okay, you have to keep paying on it. Okay. So this is a kind of capital expenditure. So how about these? How about the lip number five? Okay, is the legal expenses? Is it one off? Yes, it should be one off, right? So this one I will consider it as a capital expenditure. For number six, of course, it's a capital expenditure. How about number seven? Yep. Okay, one off, right? It's a one off. So I would say this one, uh, it will be also considered as capital expenditure, as is only paid for one time. But however, for number eight, for number eight, that one would be okay. You have to keep paying this one, okay? So this one, I will consider this one as recurrent expenditure. So you have, so this is, so I will put a tick here. So that's all for part A. Remember the rule is to make use of, uh, is it a one-off payment or recurrent expenses? So that's the rule to deal with this question. So let's move on to part B. So part B is about um, the depreciation method, okay. So this one is a very, very easy, to see that so this method it should be um, about uh, this one is the first one so that you have to give another method so of course I am um, other than reducing balance the answer would be uh, for easy, very easy right it should be strict nine yeah some student might put on revaluation that's correct to you okay so I will put that strict nine Okay, for this one, as the answer. It's very easy, right? Okay, uh, strict nine or reducing balance. 
So right now we have to do uh, for part C, we have to do the provision uh, for depreciation complete accounts. Okay, so we have to do this one. Okay, so um, so let's okay. So I have put the answer in the middle of this uh, video. So I would like to mark it down. This one is for part C. Okay. So for part C, so first of all, we have to uh, compute the, uh, I would say, uh, you have to compute the depletion expenses for the first one, okay, right? Okay, for the first year. So let's take a look the computer uh, equipment accounts, okay? So the computer equipment account, okay, be careful, okay? So I prepared this one for you. This is not, this is not, uh, 1,600 no so you have to add up the capital expenditure 100 here so let me highlight that for you so here so this one these two so you have to add it up okay at this would be the cost of the computer equipment okay so it's not it's not a uh, hundred thousand and six hundred you have to add it up you have to add up this hundred. Okay, this one we consider this one as capital expenditure. So when it is considered as capital expenditure, we will put it as the cost of the computer. Sorry, the cost of the computer equipment. Okay. So be careful for this one. Okay. So if you make this one wrong. Then oh my goodness, okay, you have all this wrong, okay? You got all this wrong, okay? So you got all this wrong. So be careful, okay? Be very careful with this one. So right now, um so let's take a look the first one, how to do that. This one, five one no, of course. Um it's not diffi that difficult. We will make use of this one, okay, to compile this one. So for the first year, okay, it will be very easy, okay. So you will make use of the cost times 30 percent then you can grab uh, 500 and 510 dollars okay so for the first year so next you have to put it uh, as the balance carry down as the balance carry down so you put it here okay so you put it here as a kind of balance carry down next after that, you will put this 510 back to the balance box down. So we we'll use the red color. Okay. So right now you will put here this one as the balance box down. And then again, we have to compile the uh, depletion expenses for the next year. Now this time you do not do it like this. No, you do not do it like this. Okay. So what you need to do, so you need to make use of um, the cost adult okay and then minus the 510 okay minus 510 and times 30 percent then you will grab this one you will grab uh, so this one would equal to 357 okay this one would equal to 357 now um, so this is what we call reducing balance. Okay, you have to minus five one now. Okay, the previous part. So next you have, and then you have to, um, to get the balance carried down x six seven. You have to add these up. So you have to add up these two figures, okay, and then you will have, um, this one x six seven here, as the balance carried down. Now after that, still you have to again. Okay, you have to again put it as the balance carry down like this okay so you have to do it like this so you have to put this one back to here okay so as the balance box down now you, i would like to remind you here so the question talks about we have to bring down the balances okay for both uh yeah for both year and 2018 and 2019 april okay yep so be careful okay great now we will move on to part D. So I'll put the answer here. So for part D, it talks about the um, yeah, Amina sold the equipment. So we have to calculate the depreciation up to that part. Okay. 
Um, so we, ha we have to do the count, okay? We have to do the count. Now, uh, let's take a look here. So the, the date right now is, okay, uh, 30 September. So right now we have to take a look how to do the depletion. So um, so let's go to the um, read the instruction again. So here it talks about no depreciation will be charged in the year of disposals. So how many years okay of depreciation expenses we have to do? So think about it. we have to do two years in total. So that would be the first year would be uh, so let's read the answer. This is the first year. The first year depreciation would be 1 April 2017 to the March okay 31 2018. Another year would be about 1 April 2018 to 31 March 2019. So we have to do it for two years, okay? Two years. So no depreciation will be okay will be charged during the year of disposal. So we don't have to do it for the for the year of disposal. Okay. So how to compute these figures is not that difficult. Okay. I will do it with you. Okay. Um so let's take a look the first year. So for the this uh, asset is about the office furniture. For the office furniture, they will charge about 20%, 20. So when you try to do it at first, okay, we have to compute the cost, okay? So the cost is not 3450, okay? You have to add up the office furniture, okay? You have to add up this office furniture as the cost of the office equipment because this is a kind of capital expenditure. So I will put it down for you, okay? So this one would be the carriage okay so this one is the carriage we still have to compute it because it's a kind of capital expenditure here okay this one is a kind of capital expenditure so that's why we have to do it okay we have to compute it as a cost so next um so let's grab the first year okay so for the first year how to do that um it's not that difficult so it would be uh three five oh oh times twenty percent it's not that difficult, right? Not that difficult. But uh, for the second year, it would be a little bit tricky. So we cannot make use of 3500 times the 20%. Uh, that would be wrong, okay? So we have to be careful for this one. We have to make use of 3500 minus 700, okay? So that's the previous one, times 20%, okay? So this 700, you can grab it from here. Right, you can grab it from here, from the previous year, okay? So that's how we do it for the reducing balances. So for the last one, we have to compare the profit or loss. So that's very easy, right? So first of all, we have to take a look what would be the net book value, okay, for the um, non-core asset. So we will work out the net book value by uh, okay, taking a look both cost and depreciation then we can have the lab book value of the equipment okay so, so no, of the office furniture so this one would be the net book value so how about the proceed okay so what would be the proceed so you may refer back to your your uh, questions so this one it talks about the proceed will be 1750 now as you can see the proceed it's less than the lab book value, so it must be a loss, okay? So this is the rule to determine it, okay? When the net book value, when the net book value is smaller than the proceed, then it must be loss, okay? So, um, so this is the end of the question, okay? So I would like you to take a look, uh, are there any misunderstanding? Now, if you have any questions, okay, feel free to email us uh, or approach us through the social media. Okay, um, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video.